it the wudu is performed in the following manner one one makes the intention to remove al hadith the ritual impurity to make wudu for salah or something similar and niya the intention is a condition for all acts of worship including tahara purification this is based on the statement of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning of which actions are only by intentions and everyone will have that which he intends agreed upon the intention placed is the heart and saying it out loud is a bid'ah, innovation within the religion. Two, then one says Bismillah with the name of Allah. Three, then one washes his hands three times. Four, then with three handfuls of water, one performs al madmada rinsing the mouth, and al istinshaq rinsing the nose by sniffing in water and then blowing it out three times. Five, then one washes his face three times. Six, then one washes his hands up to and including the elbows three times. 7. Then with his hands, one wipes his head once, beginning with the forehead and ending at the nape of the neck. Then one wipes back to the place where he started from. 8. Then one places his two index fingers inside his ear with his thumb, wipes the outside of his ear. 9. Finally, one washes each foot three times, including the ankle. This is the most complete form of wudu that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed. The obligatory actions from among these, however, are the following: one, to wash just once; two, to perform them in sequence that Allah subhanahu wa taala mentioned when He said, "O oh, you who believe, when you intend to offer salah, wash your face and your hands up to the elbow, wipe your heads, and wash your feet up to ankles." Three that a conventionally long interval does not occur between the acts in a way that interrupts them being in succession. The same applies to any act of which al-mawala, continuity, is a condition.